All right, YouTube. Um, got my subs here. Um, I have. I've had a couple people ask me how to bridge an amplifier, and so I decided to make a video. Uh, I would say who, but I don't know if they want me to give out their uh, information. So I'm gonna keep it private. So basically the nice zero gauge inputs right so that's ground that's uh, battery and that's remote remote is basically a positive signal sent from the, uh, the receiver right there sent to the amplifier and it turns the amp on so I have it hooked up to a little amp switch my receivers on and if we just turn it on here works okay so back to bridging um, this is the left input positive and right this is the right and then uh, the right positive and the right negative so basically what you're doing is I think this or this amplifier is I don't know I want to say four four hundred and fifty watts per channel S or no five hundred Five or yeah, th I think five hundred RMS, which is means constant power per channel. So uh, basically, what you're doing is you're taking the left positive and the right negative, usually, which is in that case, here that will be the right the right positive and the left negative. But the, in this case, it's the left positive and the right negative. And then you just basically run that if you're running a dual voice coil sub. And you want to get if your amp is just make make sure you guys make sure your amp is a this amp is two ohm stable bridged, which this is bridged right here. That's what bridge means, and two ohms. I'll explain to you a little bit later. But uh, so pretty much, um, what the heck? Uh, I think that little wire touched right there. Okay. Anyways. So, uh, alright, so as I was saying, um, so basically what it does is it just takes the, uh, the left channel's positive and the right channel's negative, and instead of being just regular old, um, just a regular, you know, uh, 500 watts, because now you're on two channels, so it makes it a thousand watts, RMS, so... You, do you get it? It's just like taking this channel and this channel and combining the power. Now, we're going to show you about getting these subs down to 2 ohms. So these, both these subs are 250 RMS, which I have all my gains down on my amp, so it's, and I have my volume probably a quarter of the way, and they're flexing like mad. So, uh, they're both 250 RMS. Um, they're both single voice coil forums forum subwoofers and their single voice coil so what you do you can if you have a sealed enclosure so like no port this would be the preferred way to go which would be either take the explodes two leads so positive and negative positive negative and you take and run it to the positive and the negative in the Rockford so they're both positive and negative and you take two more positive and negatives and run positive to negative and you run it to your amp which would be this wire but in this case it's a port box so I didn't want to have to drill through this port because then it would have made a loud hissing sound when I bump so what I did was alright so this is the Rockford wire right that goes to the Rockford and then um, this is positive. This is positive from the Rockford. Okay, positive, negative, negative, positive. So the positive right here, these are both positives for each sub. They're both on positive. And the positive just cruises up right there and goes into the, 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 uh, the positive in the left channel. And the negative right here just cruises over and goes into the right channel and the negative. And then what that does is, since they're both forum voice coils, and you wired them in parallel, it brings the uh, the ohm reading down to 
2 ohms. So your amplifiers are going to be seeing 2 ohms instead of 4, which is going to in turn give you more power, which is a 1000 RMS, particularly on this amp. And on a, uh, on a, uh, on a lesser amp, it would probably, if you bridged it, or if they were 8 ohm subs and you uh, wired them in parallel, it would bring it down to 4 ohm. Because every time you wire in parallel, it splits the ohm load in half. So, uh, if you had them wired up to where they were 8 ohm subs and you bridged them, or you paralleled them, and you bridged them to your amp, this amp would be giving about um, 600 RMS. Because when you raise the, uh, when you raise the, uh, the ohm load, it gives it more watts, but it's less stable. So, like, if you don't have an amp that's 2 ohm stable, you're probably going to cook it with that. But this one happens to be. So, I hope that answered your question. If you guys have any more questions, um, just hit me up a comment, or if it's detailed, just hit me up a PM. Thanks for watching.